the software. So go ahead and click on download. And this is going to take us to the executable file that will download the MetaTrader 4 platform to our devices. Now, if you are using a Mac or a operating system that is not Windows, because MetaTrader 4 is um, based on a Windows platform, if you're using Mac, what I did post in the group is a bridge that you would need to download called um, Wine Bottler. So once you download the Wine Bottler to your um, operating system for Mac, then you will follow these exact same directions. If there's anyone else who may have Chrome operating system, please shoot me an email so I can go ahead and email you um, what needs to be done so that you can also be able to participate this way. Um, there's a couple of options for Chrome users, and I can get you set up with that as well. So once the exe file has been downloaded to your computer, go ahead and open it. Your computer, of course, is going to ask, can it be downloaded to your computer? And of course, we will agree and say yes. Click Next. A, another screen will pop up, um, which is just more information about the software provider. You can go ahead and X out of that and get back to the screen um, regarding your download. and wait for it to download to your computer. And once it is done, it will completely finish. It can take anywhere from about 45 seconds to two minutes. And you will see a red triangle blinking on the bottom of your screen and or it might pop up just on top of your screen. And it will look just like this. So this here is the MetaTrader 4 platform that has been downloaded to your computer. So the first thing that we're going to do is to finish the setup for that. So if you're opening a demo account, go ahead and select Demo. And then Next. If you're opening a live account, then you would choose Live. And then Next. For our purposes, we are opening a demo account. So I have selected Demo. I have chosen Next. New Demo Account is what I'm going to choose. Next, again. And then it's going to go ahead and go through the process of asking me some more information, which is the same as before. Um, so you would just put in your name, your email address, and once again, you won't get a bunch of nonsense email. Um, it's just for registration purposes. Put in a phone number. Your account type will remain the same. TWE, which is Trader's Way. ECN, USD. Now your deposit, the default is at 50000 I actually want you to change that to 3000 Unless you plan on opening your live account with $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, $50,000, then there's not really any purpose whatsoever to starting a demo account that large. Um, it really does, in my experience, affect the way that you trade. So we want to use the minimum deposit of $3,000 in order to start our de demo account. And then we're going to change our leverage to one to 500. And you will learn all about what leverage means, how it can be very detrimental to you, and of course, how it can be advantageous. And we will teach you how to use leverage to your advantage so that you can um, increase your chances of having very profitable trades versus taking unnecessary losses. Once we've made those few changes, let's go ahead and click Next. And as you can see, we are all done. You have your login information, you have your password, and then you have an investor password as well. And that investor password is going to come in handy for us um, here in a couple of weeks. Um, but keep that in mind. You can either do a print screen of this 
or I will show you within the software where you can actually have access to it as well. Click Finish, and we are officially set up. So what we're going to go what we're going to do now is go through some customizations, but before we do that, I want to show you a couple of things about the platform in front of you. You have, of course, your file view, insert charts, tools, windows, and help. That is going to be uh, the main access in terms of you doing things within the software. You have your market watch, which shows you all of the currency pairs that are currently being traded as well as what the bid and the ask price are. Uh, you will learn about all of these things over the course of the next couple of weeks. Uh, it also shows you the navigator and this is where your accounts are as well as certain indicators that you may or may not use as part of your trading. And then the most important section in my opinion is your terminal. And your terminal is where you are going to find all the information regarding your account. So, for instance, here in the mailbox, there is new account registration. And if you double click on that, here is your login, your password, and your investor password. So if ever you forget it or you want to download this to another computer, if you want to download the app to your phone and log into your existing account, this is where you would find your login and your password in order to do so. If you go to the left, two spaces, you will see account history. The account history is going to show you what your balance is, but it's also going to show you all of the trades that you have entered and closed. So once you start executing trades, if you ever want to see additional details about a trade that you entered or to actually look and see exactly what your profit or loss was, then you would go to account history in order to see that. Trade is going to be the main screen that is showing for you um, when you're trading. This shows you your balance, your equity, your free margin, and then when you actually enter into a trade, all the information concerning that trade will pop up in this field too. So the type of trade you enter, whether it is a buy or a set, the size, which means uh, how many lots you're actually trading. Symbol is related to the currency pair. Are you trading Euro, USD, or are you trading the British pound versus the USD? Are you trading the US dollar versus the Japanese yen? That information will populate here. The price in which you got into the trade, as well as your stop loss and your take profit, uh, that you will be absolutely using on each and every trade that you do will show up on this screen as well. So let's get to customizing our charts. The first thing I want you to do is to X out of each of these black screens that show waiting for update because we are not going to wait for it to update. We are going to create our own. And now we have a blank canvas which we can use. And the first thing we're going to do is open up a new chart and we're going to change the background and colors on that chart. So go to File, New Chart, click on the very first one which is Euro USD, EUR USD. That stands for Euro USD. This is a chart that's going to show you the price movements between the Euro dollar and the US dollar. Now, the first screen you see, of course, is black and green. What we're going to do is change the color scheme on this so that uh, not only can you see what the market is telling you a little better, but it's a little easier on your eyes. So right click on the anywhere on the black chart, scroll all the way down to where it says properties, click on properties, and the first thing we're going to do is change the color scheme. We are going to choose black on white as our color scheme. And then we're going to go over to the right hand side and change a couple of the colors here. So again, we can visually see exactly what the market's doing. So our background will remain white. Our foreground will remain black. Our grid will be silver. And this is where the changes start. For bar up, we are going to change that from black to green. 
bar up means that the market is going up, and that's going to show green for us. Bar down, we're going to change from black to red. Bar down, of course, means that the market is going down, and we're going to show red for that. The next one is bull candle. Bull candle is the same as up. When a, you see a bullish candle, it is indicative of the market moving up, and that, of course, is going to be green, no different than our bar up candle. So your bar up and your bull candle will be green. Your bear candle is going to be the same color as your bar down candle, which is red. A bearish candle means that the market is going down. So whenever you look at your chart moving forward and you see red, that is going to be indicative of bearish sentiment. Where you see a green candlestick, it's going to be indicative of bullish sentiment. Click on common, and we're going to change it from a bar chart to a candlestick chart. And you will learn all about candlesticks, what they mean, what their names are, um, any sentiment and information that it can actually give you about the trades that you're going to get into. Click OK. And our chart has changed. Now, obviously, this does not look like candlesticks. So what we need to do is go up to the top. You have zoom in and zoom out. We're going to click on zoom in three times. One, two, three. And now we see some beautiful red and green candlesticks. And remember again, green candlesticks are bullish, and they're indicative of the market going up. Red candlesticks are bearish, and they're indicative of the market going down. And in Growth on Forex University, you will learn not only what each of these candlesticks are called, but what they mean in the market. And then you will also learn various patterns that are created with these candlesticks. And those will give you information as to when you should enter the market and open a trade and when you should exit the market and close a trade. So this is what your charts will look at like. So we actually want to save this information so that you can use it later. So you will right click on the white part of the chart, scroll down to where it says template, move over to your left. We want to save this template. And we're going to call it GGFX for Girls on Forex demo. Excuse me, I've been talking a lot this evening, so my voice is starting to get a little scratchy. So we have GGFX demo. We're going to save that. So now within your software, the way that we have just set up the candlestick chart is embedded within the software, and any chart that you use, we can make it automatically look like this. So in order to do that, we go back to file new chart, and this time we're going to go one down to GBP USD, which is the British pound versus the US dollar. Click on that, and of course it's black and green. So instead of us having to go through the entire process again that we just did, going to properties and changing the colors, we have an easy fix. We go to template, we go to the left, and we scroll down to GGFX demo, and there you go. It automatically changes the colors for us and the size of the candlesticks as well. And you would go through and do that again with any other new charts that you wanted to populate. So we'll do the next one, which is USD CHF. And CHF stands for, is for the Swiss franc. So we open that chart, right click, template, GGFX demo, and we have our red and green chart with this one too. One more for practice, file, new chart. The next one is USD JPY, which stands for uh, the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. We right click on the black part, go to template, GGFX demo, and now what we have done 
if you can see down here, we have EURUSD, GBPUSD, USD CHF, and USD JPY that have all been customized to our red and green Girls Gone Forex chart. You shouldn't make these pink. So um, here you can actually, next to the zoom out button, there is a window arrangement where you can click on that. And now you can see all four of the charts that you just put on your screen, similar to the black waiting for update charts that we saw in the beginning. But now they are all complete. And so when you X out of your chart, when you open them back up, they will still look like this because it has been embedded within your actual software. So there you have it. We have opened up our Forex account with tradersway.com and we have downloaded the MT4 platform as well as customized it for training and trading purposes.